Lights out. Hello. Did you ever inherit anything? It is a bit of a nuisance, isn't it, sitting around the stuffy old law office while the attorney reads your old Uncle Ezra's last will and testament. Well, sometimes it's quite different. Sometimes you inherit things you can't even see from people you don't even know. So beware the strange legacy. Lights out! worth going off the road for, eh, Joe? Uh, much too close for comfort, Steve. Next time you decide to go to sleep at the wheel, be good enough to waken me first, will you? I don't like the look of that cut. At like this? Nah, I don't even feel it. Hey, Joe. You ever see anything as beautiful as the moonlight on those dunes? <laughs> you better watch that cut, Steve. Ah, uh, you're as fussy as an old woman. Well, if you'd have been a little more fussy about your driving, we wouldn't be here. We'd want to build out here anyway, in this out-of-the-way spot. Puzzles me. Do you suppose it belongs to the old guy who found us, or is he the butler? It was my son's. Oh, pardon me. I, uh, I hope you won't mind our spending the night. He's dead. And you will be, too, if you don't check your speed. Well, it wasn't our speed, Mr. Lane. A searchlight caught me in the eyes. I came around the curve. Now, well, somebody ought to tell the Coast Guard about that light. What light? Chester Bay light. There's a sign down the highway. Chester Bay light doesn't hit anywhere near the highway you were on. Oh, I'm afraid you dreamt that light, Steve. Too bad it happened tonight. Allison will be upset. Uh, who's Allison, I wonder? Maybe she's allergic to blood. Look, it's not funny, Steve. There's something wrong here, so let's go. Hey, what do you plan to do? Sleep on the sand? We wrecked the car, remember? Oh, well, don't be so happy about it. You artists. Always suckers for atmosphere, good or bad. Original score. Well, maybe Lane's son was a composer. The old man doesn't look like much. Not finished. I wonder why. <laughs> Must have been around for a long time. It's covered with dust. I wonder where Lane's gone to now. I hope he takes his time. Yeah. I'd like to explore a little. Hey, did you ever see one like that before? Yeah, unusual. It's unfinished, too. Oh, here's something else unfinished. Statue, Steve, right in your line. She's a sculptor, too, huh? You know, Joe, this is good as far as he went. I'd like to meet the man who did this. Oh, him, maybe? Oh, a flyer that explains it. Explains what? Well, nothing's finished. What a waste of talent for a man like that to be killed. 
Hmm. What's that? Last will and testament of Christopher Lane. Poor guy. Hey, hey Joe, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what am I doing? Well, a uh, man's will's made public after he's dead anyway. Yeah, I know, but it's none of our business. It's decent enough for the old man to let us stay at all. That's normal. And what do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, it looks like it needs finishing. You know, Joe, something's happening to me. I'm not sure what. You sure you feel all right, Steve? What station is that? No station. I, I turned the radio off. It's the same music. It's exactly the same. Well, who is it? It's magnificent. Where's that old man? Let's get out of here. Not until I hear the end of this. That's where it breaks off in the score, too. Oh, forget it and come on. Hello. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. Hello, I'm... I'm Joe Bishop, and this is Stephen Elliott. We had an accident at the corner. And yes, I know. And your friend hurt his head. Just scratched. A blow on the head can be awfully serious, Mr. Elliot. Perhaps you'd better sit down. Well, it's lucky for us we found this house. Perhaps it wasn't luck. Were you playing just a moment ago? It was a beautiful thing. It was one of Christopher's. Who's Christopher? Christopher? My husband. He was killed a year ago tonight. Oh, I'm sorry we had to blunder in at this time. It was Christopher's will. I've been waiting. Well, under the circumstances, Steve, I, I think we ought to run along. Oh, no. No, don't go. Please stay. I'd planned such a pleasant evening for us. And there's been no one to talk to for so long, you know. Please stay. You must find it very lonely here, Mrs. Lane. Yes. Tell me. And why do you stay? Show you. But you have your music. Music and memories. Are they enough? Are they? I had Christopher. His great talent. His warmth. And his love beside me. And now, all that's left is this room where he worked. And his will. You feel closer to him here, don't you? That's why you stay. Yes. yes, I do. But that's not enough. Not enough. I, I can't wait much longer. You've upset her. She'll have one of her low moods for days now. The last will and testament of Christopher Lane. They're insane, both of them. Now let's go. Uh, there's a beautiful woman. But the whole setup's queer, I tell you. Intriguing's the word. It's almost as if they were expecting us. And how did Lane find us out in the dunes? I'm beginning to think they engineered that accident. Well, it's a real accident that does nobody any good. She's lovely. Look, Steve, the sooner we get out of here, the better. I don't think you can leave. Nobody travels the dunes in this kind of weather. Fog. Fog, huh? How long will it last? Oh, it's difficult to say. Sometimes for days. Days? Yes. Days. We had a lot of fool notions. It was supposed to draw fuel from the atmosphere, as plants store energy from the sun. That's an amazing idea. He must have been very talented. Never got him much, except Allison. Breakfast will be ready ten minutes, Mr. Elliot. Fine.
hello, Mr. Elliot. Well, hello, Allison. Stephen, then. Please. Oh, you'd make a wonderful figure in marble. No, no, stone, marble's too cold. Uh, are you a sculptor? <laughs> Not a well-known one, but I will be. Yeah, the power's all in there. My statue. You've been working on my statue. Oh, it's just as Christopher would have done it. But now, now nothing's finished. The plane, the music, or the statue. The statue could be finished, Allison. If you'll pose for me. Oh, yes, Stephen, I will. It's what Christopher wants. Time for rest, Allison. I... Oh. oh, I guess I am tired. Where's Joe? Outside trying to push back the fog? <laughs> yeah, I hope he doesn't succeed. Why is he so anxious to get you away from here? He doesn't have my incentive to stay. No, he's not very artistic, is he? I don't mean that. I mean you. Allison, I never want to leave. Stephen, I never thought I could care for anyone but Christopher. And now... No, I'm not so sure. I'll wait. I just want you to know how I feel. Yes, Joe, he must be lost in the fog. All right, Joe, coming! Stephen, you'll be back? Of course, I'll just be a minute. You might be quite a while. Stephen, it's me, Joe. He's coming out of it. Thank God for that. Fox lifting. Ambulance should be here any minute now. Good. Ambulance? We had an accident on the dune, Steve. Yeah, yeah, I know. That was before we went to Alice. We, we brought you straight here from the car. You, you've been unconscious for half an hour, raving like a madman. Joe. Joe, you were with me at Allison's. We stayed last night. It must have been your delirium, Bill. You've been muttering about a statue and music and Allison, whoever she is. But that's my name. Did you know it? I haven't the least idea. Did you mention it to him? I didn't call her name. What are you talking about? She told it to me. Look, I know what's going on. I'm not insane. Please, you'd better go. I'll keep watch. We don't seem to be doing much good, Mr. Bishop. Come along. With me. I'll be right outside if you need me, Steve. The statue. There's a statue. Let me have it. You seem to have taken quite a fancy to that statue, Mr. Elliot. You reached for it several times when you were semi-conscious. This statue's no dream. You're no dream, Allison. Please, Mr. Elliot, you better rest. You've had a concussion. You can't deny the house in the dunes. This house is on the dunes. You can see them from out the window. It's the same place. What happened to us, Allison? Why didn't I finish the statue? Uh, are you a sculptor? Allison, you must remember. You posed for me. We... We fell in love. Please, Mr. Elliot. You'd better rest. That's no dream. You'll remember that. Yes, I'll remember that.
Hall of Fame, huh? <laughs> well, you gotta be a celebrity to get invited. Well, you are a celebrity now that you won the Museum Sculpting Award. Yeah, and it all happened five years ago, after that accident. But you called it delirium. Well, now, don't talk talking about that confounded dream. Every time you overwork, you talk about it. <laughs> Joe. Joe Bishop. Hello, Bob. Mrs. Marlowe's in the music room. Vestine, the composer, is playing. Oh, Bob, this is uh, Steve Elliott, the sculptor. He won the International Award this year. Mr. Dickinson's the inventor of a new plane. A plane? It'll revolutionize flying. Top secret, you know. Yes. Does it have a, a rocket body? Does it take fuel from the atmosphere as a plant draws energy from the sun? How? Where did you hear such a theory? What are you getting at, Steve? Mr. Dickinson, did you ever have an accident on the Oregon coast at a place called Chester Bay? Yes, four years ago. I was driving back to the airport. It was a second smash-up blamed on that light. I had an accident at Chester Bay, too, five years ago. You stayed at the house in the dunes? It was a coincidence. I'd say it was more than a coincidence, you know. What else could it be, Steve? Doesn't our hostess name mean something to you, Mrs. Lane Morrow? Huh? Probably Allison Lane's aunt. Listen. It's the same music Allison played. That's Verstein's new sonata. Mr. Bishop. I also heard that music at Chester Bay. But Steve only dreamt it when he was unconscious. His skull was fractured, you know. And so was mine. You're trying to tell me you had the same dream? Only he finished the plane instead of the statue, and that's not all. Oh, Mr. Bastine. Congratulations. Did you, uh, did you ever have an accident at a place called Chester Bay? Strange question. Yes, an auto accident in October 1947. I fractured my skull. Mr. Elliot and I also had accidents at Chester Bay. Elliot is a sculptor. He's been working on a statue of Allison. Allison? Adorable little Allison. The music finished. The plane finished. The statue. Did you try to convince me it was only a dream? I knew I should have gone back. Well, I was in that accident with you. Why didn't I have that dream? I think perhaps you have not got the right nature for this dream, uh, as you call it. You know, you could be right about that. So, three talents, huh? Hmm. And three men. But one girl. I think I'll go back to Chester Bay. I think I'll drive along that road again. I'll go, too. Allison, c'est charmant. I think I'll also go to Chester Bay. Same. Everything the same. Make yourselves comfortable. I'll tell Allison you're here. Thank you, Mr. Lane. The three of you, all three of you. I hope it won't upset her. Here it is. This time I'll read it. Oh, yes, the will. The will of the husband. I had forgotten that. Read it out loud. Yes, do. Last will and testament of Christopher Lane. Yeah, skip the preliminaries. Here we are. My three talents, as I am not yet ready to render them to God, I bequeath to the first man who will undertake to complete the work which I have begun. Inventing. Composing. Sculpturing. Well, uh, go ahead. My dearest possession, the love of my wife, Allison, I could take with me. But since her creative instinct longs to bring love to fruition in a living human being... Eh bien, uh, go on. I hope that she will love and marry again. Well, here we are. Three men, three talents, and one. Bob, so you've all come back. Allison, I finished it. Critics have called it great music, and it is mine. Listen while I play it for you. What does he mean? I've completed the plane your husband started, Allison. Everyone will be flying it soon. My name will go down in history. Thank you, thank you, Bob. Just what 
ever wanted. His playing finished. His music finished. And his... It's not you. Finished. Why did you do that? It's not Christopher's talent I love. Something happened to Dickinson, Burstein, and me here at Chester Bay, Allison. Maybe it was a dream, maybe not. But you and I had one complete moment of reality, remember? Yes, I remember. You remember the last clause of your husband's will? You read Christopher's will. It is a strange legacy, Alistair. Three talents were distributed. Now only you can settle the balance of the estate. Will you, Alison? Christopher Lane, quite a lad. His last wish was to do good for his fellow men. Too bad he lost his life. We could have good use for him in the world today. NBC television.